Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flames Merge, located in Chicago, Illinois. And I help people with Soulmates, Ascension, Twin Flame Ascension, Twin Flames, and Love. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button because you are going to get a lot of information. So let's get started. In this video, I want to talk to you about this journey. This is a journey, which means it's a process and there are phases to it. And we are in a particular phase that is highly confusing. And there's a lot of people that really need some clarity so that you can do the right things for your life. One of the things that I really want to touch on right now is the false twin. False twins are just soulmates. Doesn't matter what you call them or what label you give them. If you want to call them a catalyst or a catalyst false twin or a near twin or a near miss twin or a hit and run twin or the worst fake twin ever, you're actually glorifying it a lot more than it actually is. It's just a soulmate. Shh. It was just a soulmate and probably not one of the friendliest ones either. And that brings me to something that I've been hearing from people for a while, and it's time to put an end to it. It has to do with the N-word, narcissism, just so that I'm clear. People are being led to believe that somehow he or she has to turn into this to teach you a lesson. My God, by now, if you don't get these things, you're going to be in trouble. And what that means is you're going to be tripping around in that uh, mess, that hot mess that has been just like mud, as clear as mud, where you start saying, well, who is it then? Well, if it's not this, then what is it? Well, what is this? Is this all just a concept? Is this like... What gives already? I've been doing all the work. No, you haven't. Because the one thing that really needs to be done is get rid of the labels and all of that. This is a lot simpler than what it's being made out to be there. The journey to be able to shed the things that have hurt you and harm you and to be able to embody a brand new life, way of living, health, well-being, in a nice, new, tidy, light body. Doesn't that sound appealing? Doesn't that sound a lot more appealing than studying something for years or becoming embittered about it? Now, if you're um, confused, I want to clarify further. These are dead relationships. What that means is your soul is never going to support a soulmate that has done you wrong somehow, hurt you, harm you, traumatized you, tortured you, tormented you, nor you to them. If you are chasing, I'm here to say to you, the chasing is done. We are turning the corner on even being able to chase because it is just going to become so exhausting and honestly boring already because it's not going to feel like real living. You're here for real living. One of the things you should really be if you know, nervous about is not really being alive and living. You should want to be alive and have a life that's thriving. You're not here to sacrifice anymore, not to your kids. There is old energy. Are you really here to be the sacrificial lamb yet once again? And getting angry about letting your energy to support somebody else's relationship, that needs to stop too because Usually that is some kind of imagined slight. That brings me to point number two, the imagined slights and offenses and trying to decode things, becoming angry about being cut out or offended and you looked up something on the internet just to double check and you get yourself hurt all over again instead of focusing on where you need to be. The third thing I want to mention is that many times 
these things have absolutely no interactions whatsoever. There's no interaction between you and this person, except sometimes that they've told you off and then you can't go try to decode that. Take it as the truth of what they are saying, what is being said, get away, get out. People are not narcissists because they want to be mean. They have to be mean to get people away. That's what people do because you might think that there's more to it or you're missing something or you didn't try hard enough. There is no such thing. You have better things coming to you and unless you get that door closed and get yourself clean away and clear, get rid of the toxic false twin before you go down with the ship. That brings me to another point, okay? Time squandered, energy wasted, focusing on the wrong thing, mental energy trying to decode things and looking at lists. And there is wisdom that God has that has put a connection in you on purpose. And it is not to the same old idiots that hurt you or harmed you, or maybe you hurt them or harmed them and you just have to stay away because you can't play nice here. It would be a terrible relationship. It would go down the tubes. The things that you do that are positive actually do benefit you and it hits the real mark. So if you're looking at a closed door and you're still trying to do stuff, it's hitting who it's supposed to hit. It's never lost. Love is never lost. Love hits the mark of who it is supposed to hit because that is the law of attraction. That is the gravity. Your heart is one big giant magnet. Now, I'm going to talk about some things that other readers and healers don't really talk about. The name of my um, channel is Twin Flames Merge for a Reason. I'm all about the merging and creating further merges that alchemize you from the inside out, that help you to open and create the connections that are inherent in you to expand, blossom out, whatever word you want to use, upgrade, activate. That is my specialty. I'm here to take the crazy out of it. There's a lot of people that have been so zoned on stuff, they are going down with this and becoming very, very tired. It's very tiring to carry around heavy energy. Now, here's what I help people with. I help you get out of that and feel good and start experiencing the merges, the activations, the feel good energy, the health and well being and the embodiment of what you are able to embody as you are on the journey. So some of this includes things that are not caused by a human. The etheric body and the etheric twin flame is real. That's not a concept. The human being that you might be focusing on cannot create some of the things that you experience and it is a mistake to like think that they are such a master manipulator that somehow they have all of this great power. They don't. That comes from above you. And that's one of the misconcepts. Years ago, I had um, gone through some things on purpose and I had to go through it too. I had a patch of time that I called, I had a mental illness for three days. I was hearing voices. I was being told things. I was up, down. I mean, it would not leave me alone until I got angry. Anger, it's like it feeds off of anger. You can't get angry. I learned the proper way to not only diminish it, but get rid of it entirely. Okay. There is something about this journey that seems to addle the heads of a lot of people and turn them uh, into people that they really aren't, uh, make them feel crazy, and even make them feel slightly sociopathic or psychotic. It happens. And then it's worse if you just add in an addiction there. So what happens if you love an addict? Okay. You're going to get a lot of smoke and mirrors. 
You might think you could save that person, but if it's not your person, all your work is not going to hit that mark. You can't paint a bullseye around it and expect that it's going to have an effect, okay? And furthermore, they may just tell you off because they prefer their relationship with the thing that they are addicted to, whatever it is. What are some of the really good things that um, happen? Well, I'm here to help people create the etheric touch to create their fifth through eighth dimensional footholds and connections for your new life. That takes time. That actually takes about eight months of time. Now, as I'm doing this video, we're in some pretty intense energy. And this energy is really going to make the rubber meet the road. This is where the you know what's going to hit the fan for a lot of people because it's going to start feeling very urgent and important to work on your ascension. There are aspects of ascension that other people don't even talk about. And there are a lot of ascension symptoms that are actually attributed to COVID. And that is wrong because there is a distinction between the symptoms of a virus and the symptoms of ascension. And that's not getting into all of the other mental beliefs that happen. There is a belief that you can't be with your twin flame because it's so cringy. That's not true. You can't be with a soulmate because it's so cringy. Your soul is cringing at the thought of that person even touching you sometimes. Doesn't want any. Doesn't want to support their marriage or their relationship or all of their girlfriends or all of their boyfriends or their habits and addictions and everything else that is troweled on there. Okay, so let's get something clear right now. You started this journey and you may have started, so whether this is new to you, okay, if you're new to this, please know this is a journey. There's a process which I teach, which actually gets 5D higher level multidimensional results for people. What does multidimensional mean exactly? Let me put this in a context of your dream time, okay? During your waking hours, you have your waking state and the things that you have to do and the things you have to enjoy. Then you have another level to yourself, which is dreams. And sometimes those dreams can be really fun and adventurous and exciting or lucid. Sometimes they're nightmarish, but that's another level of you. How would you like to get beyond that level? How would you like to feel touched? How would you like to have music messages come to you? Lyrics and trust that it is coming from the source that is your source. How would you like to have the feelings of being touched and kissed and felt and held and comforted and that the universe is truly supporting you instead of feeling embittered and lonely and angry and somehow like there's some simmering anger under there and you just want to get out of it. How many times have you felt that you wish you never heard about this thing? Yeah, I hear that a lot because people go down the rabbit hole of all of the, you know, things that this isn't about. So those have not been my experiences. My experiences with my etheric twin have been nothing but lovely, higher, highly sensual, even erotic and sacred all at the same time and very, very real. The most real thing in my life, the driving force of my life from the time I was 17 to actually meet the person. Now, I have developed a modality so that it makes it easy. It is down to the science and the bliss of actually experiencing and feeling. If you look at my website, I have several levels of helpful material. I've been doing this for 14 years. I have started by doing body work on people, so I'm very familiar with energies. Not a lot of people are capable of being able to feel the two energies, the energy of the person and the person who they truly belong to. And let me tell you, there is a lot of discovery that's going to happen because who you truly belong to is going to 
make itself known as soon as you clear. So one thing I want to say in this video is just say goodbye to your false twins. Stop hanging on. It's going to get pride from your cold, dead fingers if you, you know, hang on to that corpse, okay? You may have been helpful at some point that may have gotten you where you are right now. You might feel like somehow that was part of your awakening. That is not the whole thing. That's just the tip of the iceberg. That is like one little thing of you receiving what it is that belongs to you from someone who actually owes it back to you. So let's call it what it is. False, catalyst, whatever, soulmate. It's a soulmate. Now for some people in 3D, when you go from survival mode, you can be with a soulmate. If you're ascending and you've already been doing some work, it's on. It's going full steam ahead and the door is closing behind you. There is no going backwards because those people that you once thought you could canoodle with, it's going to feel so different. It isn't even funny. And when I say it isn't even funny, it's actually kind of upsetting. You feel as though you're walking a tightrope from this point to this point. You're like, oh, 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 one wrong move. What if I'm doing the wrong thing? Very confusing to the mind. Very alarming. Now, we're also needing to take into account healing. Healing from things and getting rid of the old, dead, past and upgrading yourself, learning how to maintain that, that is also what I have a lot of experience in. So if you are in need of that help and how to, because if you've been doing things like tarot readings, frankly, it's not going to cut it anymore. If you've been doing things like, you know, crystals and, you know, uh, other things, yeah, they might have gotten you where you are. They're not teaching you about the body. And crystals do have a place, no criticism there. But how do we take it beyond where your body is the big giant crystal? And that is my specialty to help people with. So I specialize in twin flame ascension and coaching, health coaching, which includes your nutrition. It includes aspects of so many sides of you that is necessary to be able to clear and these are essential parts of you i'm going to leave you with a thought do you want to waste more time energy effort on the wrong thing or do you want to start getting on track with what really works so check it out on my website at twinflamesmerge.com I'm going to save you some time and let you know that there are some links down in my description below and just get started because we're turning the corner here and especially as we head into the next part of this year, it's on. It If you think it's intense now, find the way to please remove some of the intensity using my modality. I am able to pinpoint things for you so that you can get the proper discernment and that I help you with that so that you're not wasting a lot of time. We make it concise and, you know, get you through these things. There are multiple phases of this and one of the phases is not really running and chasing. That's like really old mammal behavior. And, you know, even if you play a game of tag, at some point everyone's like, time out, time out, time out. We're tired. We need a drink of water right? Did you ever play when you were a kid or you played one of those other games, you know, a chasing and hiding, hide and seek? Okay. It gets tiring at some point and at some point it's time to go home. It's maybe been a lot of fun and games, but now it's time for some real passion to, you know, get you where you need to be, not drama. Drama is not passion. Drama for ascending people is going to feel like you're going down the rabbit hole. I don't recommend it. So check it out. Twinflamesmerge.com. 
I'm Patricia. Please subscribe and check it out. Bye now.